Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be testing the battery life or the battery degradation in a 2010 Prius. Uh, see what kind of decreased battery life we can expect from a 10 year old car with roughly 85, 86,000 miles. So let's get into it. Step one is always gonna to be to locate the ODB port on your car. So on the Prius, it is just above our brake pedal, uh, which is right here. Oops, right there. And what you'll do is you'll take the ODB reader, make sure it's facing the right way, and plug it in until you get your lights here. So here you can see the power, and then I have a blinking blue LED for the Bluetooth. With the ODB reader plugged into the ODB port in the car, we'll now need to sync that device on our Bluetooth uh, mobile device here. That is my phone, so I'll go ahead and select on ODB Link LX here at the bottom in Available Devices. If you have an iPhone, this will just look slightly different. We'll go ahead and get a pairing request. We'll hit OK. And then we'll see it listed in our paired devices. Next, you'll want to find the Dr. Prius Dr. Hybrid app made by Big Wheel Tech on the mobile app store. For me, that's Google Play. For you, that may be the Apple App Store. Uh, you will go ahead and download and then hit Open. With the mobile app open, you now need to select your ODB device. Here, that is my ODB Link LX. I'll go ahead and click on that. It will connect to the ODB reader. So now we'll see um, some information on our battery. We can see all of the voltages for each cell or each pack of cells. Uh, so here we can see how that shifts, uh, as well as other information about our battery, including pack voltage, current state of charge, uh, whether we're discharging in, in terms of amps, we have our voltage difference, uh, between cells, and then we have our delta state of charge and battery temperatures. We can record this data if we'd like, but we're going to go ahead and run a battery test. So hit that hamburger button in the top left-hand corner, and then click on life expectancy test there. Please warm up and park the car, put gear in drive, then floor both the brake and gas pedal all the way down. This will charge up the battery in about one minute. All right, so we will follow the directions here. We'll go ahead and put the car in drive. and floor the brake and the gas pedal at the same time. Here we can see our current is negative 65 amps. That is quite a lot of power going into that battery. Our state of charge is climbing. We're at 44.7, 45. We're at 46 here. 47 we'll be trying to get to around 75 70 to 75 percent state of charge we will have to let off the gas here a couple times to allow the battery to, to catch up because this is quite a bit of current flowing through that hybrid system all right we're still charging here we're now we're now 50 percent state of charge now it wants us to release the gas pedal until the engine stops then do it again so here we're charging back at 70 amps again, lots of current. Step two, release gas pedal, put gear in reverse, turn on headlight, AC to drain okay. electricity from the battery. Your goal is to keep the needle within the green area. So this part is a little bit interesting. You're going to want to use uh, around, I believe it's six amps. And to do so, you can play with the electronics in the car, make sure that you have enough things turned on. So here I'm turning on a lot of the lights in here. You can play with the HVAC system. Um, I did put the car in reverse. It uses a little bit more power that way. And we'll turn on the AC. And here our goal is to keep our power usage in that green, so I'll need to draw a little bit more power here. Now a full AC running. Step three, please keep the needle within the green area. And I'll turn on my rear defrost, that'll bump that up. Yep, there we go. Six point four is right in the middle, so that's where you'll want to stay. Basically, what we're doing here is a load test. 
So we're going to be drawing a consistent amount of amps from the battery, seeing how long it lasts, and that will give us an estimate of how much battery life we have left, knowing that this pack has 6 point or 1.6 kilowatts from the factory standard. So we're doing well here. Uh, you can see our state of charge down there at the bottom. We're at 69.4%. Uh, currently pulling 6.5, 6.6 amps. The air conditioner does use quite a bit of power here. And in my experience, the test will complete earlier than 700 seconds, and I'll probably fast forward this portion here. Well, there you have it. The battery life is currently at 72.87% capacity. This is very close to my original estimate that I did over a little about a year ago, uh, which was at 74-ish percent. So this is relatively consistent. Uh, and at the bottom here, you can see that 90% equals new condition, 70% is good, 50 is fair, 40 is poor, and lower than 40 means that we need a replacement soon. 72.87% is very, very good for a 10-year-old Prius. Go ahead and leave a thumbs up if you liked this video or it was helpful for you trying to do a test to your own Prius. And please comment for any other things that you'd like to see in the future. Also, if you like this video and you'd like to see similar videos in the future, please go ahead and hit subscribe and have a nice day.